What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have a WWE action figure playset review on the WWE Reckon Performance Center action figure playset. Now, I found this at Walmart, and I'm not sure if it's Walmart exclusive. I'm not sure what the deal is. However, I saw it, and I figured, you know what, guys? This may be something cool that we can use for pick feds. This may be something cool we can use for action figure matches. I'm not sure exactly, but I did want to grab it. I think it retails for like $39.99. We're going to find out if this is actually worth it here you can see here it says three destructive areas imploding ring collapsing tower exploding wall so i figured that would be pretty cool i don't think it comes with any figures down here you will see that it says 20 inches tall down there you got some artwork here got uh shinsuke literally getting killed by aj styles getting thrown off the scaffolding right there and i figured you know what guys let's go ahead and break this thing open see what the hell it's about maybe we can use something for a stage or a spot in the pick fed i don't know so let's go ahead and find out we're going to crack it out of the packaging find out what's in this thing build it up and see what it's all about so let's go ahead and crack this hoe out of the packaging all right, guys, so I have taken the playset out there, and I have, you know, built it up here. And I got to say that, honestly, I mean, this is just one great big waste of money. Now, the reason I say that, you know, don't get me wrong. I mean, there are some cool features about it. However, I think that the price point of $39.99, I'm just, oh, God in heaven, what's happening? The leg is giving out. So, like, at the price point of $40, guys, it's really hard to, you know, say. I will say there are some cool features about it. You know, you get the nice stickers. You know, if you're a sticker guy, I mean, $40 covers it perfectly. $10 per sticker over here. I mean, what a great deal. But seriously, though, if we get rid of the tissue paper here with the stickers on it and we just focus on the playset, you do get one of these basic rings. And uh, you guys can see here in the middle, it does collapse. And I'm not sure if, like, you're supposed to, like, a figure gets slammed here and then, like, okay, so there it goes. So when you hit it hard enough, it slams and then the, t the turnbuckles cave in, kind of like the Big Show and Brock Lesnar and then the Big Show and Braun Strowman from that one time, you know? So you're then you straighten them back up, and then you put this back in this place, and then, uh, you know, like that. That's exactly how it goes, and then you pour it back inside. It's really difficult, actually. Really difficult. And there's, like, this thing here. There's, like, a little lever back here, if you guys can see this. Like, you see this lever? I don't know what that does. I don't know what that does. Maybe if I straighten this up and do it. Yeah, guys, I don't know what that little trigger is supposed to do. Maybe that puts the ring back up. Maybe maybe when this is collapsed and you pull this, it's supposed to straighten it back up. But this is just, you know, your basic ring. It, it gets put together. You know, you take the, the ropes out right here and it comes together and you just put it back in place there. There is little, you know, uh, peg holes right here so you can put a basic figure on top. Elites work as well. You can actually put elite figures in there. But the main feature, the whole reason I got this, guys, was not for the basic ring. It was for the accessories. Okay, so with your basic ring, not only do you get this little scaffolding that we'll get to in a moment, you get this nice little, like, workout. If you guys remember the Performance Center playset, this is a Performance Center playset, but it's its own deal, where uh, it says it's supposed to, like, connect to the back of the, the ring over there, like those black poles. I think these red hooks on the back here are supposed to connect, but I don't know. I, I looked at the instructions for, like, 46 minutes and it just, it didn't make sense to me. You get your hanging punching bag right here going back and forth. It does break in half, which is a pretty cool feature. And I do like that it has a little chain hook right here. So, you know, uh, Batista over here can get in the gym and he can just box himself away right there. So that's pretty cool, I will say. And, you know, he can lift his weights over here. That's one feature of the wall that I do like. You know, you have your little, uh, you have your wall here with your dumbbells and your, your big barbell. I can tell you right now that there should not be any weight on this when it's on the wall like this. It should never have a bunch of weight on it just sitting on the wall but it's pretty cool i'd like to see like a squat rack or something be made uh for mattel figures or something like that maybe like a couple of squat racks and have like them working out but this is a really cool feature you can actually push these guys through here like if you wanted to like spear somebody through it you could actually do that you can spear this this will fall um one thing i will say is uh it's it's a lot better now but like when i first put it on there it was really flimsy like if i even touched this it would collapse and fall but it seems like it's getting stood up now uh again you do get these dumbbells that you can separate i think we've got this with mini figures before. I think it came with Ryback and it came with a couple other guys back in the day. Uh, we also have this barbell that came with John Cena. You can take off the little weight clips right here and then you can slide this off and then have just a regular barbell which is a pretty cool feature. I know we've seen that many times in the past before but it is cool. I did want to mention it but again you can spear somebody through this like so. So you just take Batista right here and you ram it through and then there you go so it will break like that. Which, again that's a pretty cool feature. I think that anybody could get any usage out of that. Where you play with your figures, you pick fed. I 
think that anybody can get that out of there. But uh, you can see here that it comes in two separate pieces. You just snap it together like so. And then you want the arrows facing upward is what I've seen. So you'll face your arrows upward. You'll clip it to the wall right here. And again, I could not figure this out when I first uh, was starting to play with it or, you know, mess around with it. So it clips in there, clips in down there. Take your little dumbbell fart in a bag. Put it up here because you don't want your dumbbells all the way up there. Uh, so you put that there, wherever the hell the other oh, the dumbbell went all the way in the back. Christ. So we go back here and we grab this. And then we come back and we put it right there. So again, there's some pretty cool features about this. I could not figure out why you would want to clip this to the back of the scaffolding. However, it is there. So you can fold this up too. And I just thought this would be cool, like especially if you have that performance play set and then you pair it with this and you could like add to your weight room, you know, like have this off in the corner or something like that. I think that'd be a really cool feature. So that is definitely something that somebody could get usage out of. Okay, so coming back over here, uh, let's show you guys the reason I even bought the thing. Okay, I saw the little packaging. It has like a scaffolding on it. Shinsuke and AJ falling off the scaffolding, right? Well, if we take a look at the scaffolding, Brad, would you look up there at that scaffolding? It is not as grand as it looks. So if we pull it over here, guys, you will see, like, Jesus Christ, I gotta move the lamps for a second. Like, I honestly, like, these things don't clip very well, and you're supposed to put the performance sticker right here. If you guys can see that, like, the, the performance sticker is supposed to go right here, and this is supposed to clip together, but even when you clip it together, it's still, like, I'm having a tough a flick in the dick at a time. But you clip it together like so, and and it comes apart really super easy. Like, look at that. Look how flimsy. So you can see there. So you can. So you guys can see that it just, it wants to separate and like this scaffolding doesn't connect. I don't know, like that's it. That's all you get. Like if you even breathe, this thing is going to fall. And not only this, this separates too, like the little banister, like you see how it like comes apart like that and then it separates and you fall. I guess that's supposed to be the feature, but I don't like how that's so easy to unclip. Like this doesn't even clip guys. It doesn't even clip. It just sits in a hole. And so this will sit right here, let me get you guys at an angle so you guys can see what the hell I'm talking about. If you guys can see this, there's like a hole right here that it's supposed to feed through right there, and that just sits there, and on the other side, it's barely even on there. It's like a little hinge, and it's supposed to swing around. It's just garbage. Like, see, it just sits there. It's just a hanging mess. It is a hanging mess. And like, if you put it, like, look how easy this stuff falls apart. And like, you see there, it's, it's all connected now. This is swinging open. I'm about to just curse. Let's just put WWE Champion Kofi Kingston up here. And see, I guess you're supposed to fight, and then it's supposed to like, you know, I guess it's pretty sturdy like that, but like, it wants to fall apart. This does not stay at all, but then I guess it like unhooks, and then you fall, and then when you fall off the scaffolding, you come crashing into the turf, and then it goes, and then you're, Jesus Christ, it didn't even, it, it didn't even work. So then like, I guess you, you do that, and then the, the turnbuckles are supposed to, like, I mean, I'm hitting the hell out of that, guys, and it's still not collapsing, so I, I don't know, Brad. I mean, maybe I'm doing it wrong or something, but, like, look at that. I'm hitting the hell out of this. There it goes. But, see, then you, you pull this back, and it doesn't do anything. So I don't know what the switch is for. What is the switch for? Where's the directions? What did I do with the directions? Where are the directions? I think the biggest thing with this, guys, is it's just not sturdy at all. Like, I don't understand why, like, it, it just, like, the turnbuckles are pretty sturdy. Like, when you put them in down in the hole and, you know, you stand them up and everything, like, that's fine. And these poles back here are pretty fine, too. Like, when you snap them into place, they're fine as well. But ultimately, I think the biggest feature of it, which is the scaffolding, is what's the biggest disappointment for me. It just won't stay in the right spot. So, like, if I take this, and again, your little guardrails, they split really, really easy. Like, you want to know how I know? It's because in the back, like, look how open. This, this side's even open. So, like, it clips really easy, but it comes unclipped really easy. And there's not even peg holes at the bottom for them to stick into because they're not supposed to. They want it to come open easy. You see that? That literally came open with just a little shape. So, I guess, I, I don't know, Brad. What I'll do is probably rig it up. I'll probably, like, tape it there so that the scaffolding will just be its own deal. Because, like, right here, this this side's supposed to, like, run through like that. Or is it supposed to run through, like, like that? And then you come back. And that's still not that good. I mean, that's a little more... That's definitely more sturdy than it was. And then it falls. So, Brad, I mean, look at that. I guess, again, it's supposed to be for kids. It's supposed to be younger ages. But I would not recommend this for... Uh, or at least, like... 
if you're wanting to get the main usage out of it, I mean, maybe. I just don't see, like, like I don't, I don't know, Brad. I, I don't, I don't know. But anyways, guys, I mean, this is called, what is this called? The Reckon Performance Center. Yeah, it's wrecking my life right now. I don't know, man. You may like it. I don't know. If anybody has this down in the comment section below, comment down below. Again, you get some really cool accessories, but I wouldn't pay any more than $25 for it. Like, if, you, if you're going to buy this, I, again, I just... The ring's pretty cool. I mean, I, I don't know. I'd, I'd rather save up and buy a better ring. The accessories, like the weight bench and the performance center back here is pretty cool. You can clip it again to the back of it, but I, I, I didn't want to do that. And then especially, like, uh, the, the main thing is when I was trying to connect it to the back, this kept falling and then destroying what my process was, was this. So I was like, you know what, bro? Just after that, we'll do this separate. So you do get some cool accessories. You get your little performance wall. You get your ring. You get a cool scaffolding, but for $40, I'm just not feeling it. However, I will say you do get some cool features. I think if you take the scaffolding, you can do some cool stuff with it, maybe. Maybe attach it to a custom stage or something. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this review of the Reckon Performance Center that wrecked MDT's life. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys got a laugh out of it or some info or just anything. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my name Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Oh, and Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy's going to come off the scaffolding, off the top of the scaffolding with a huge sponsor bomb on the Kofi Kingston, and he took the whole scaffolding with him. Brad, I knew that shit wasn't safe. See you in the next one.